What the guys, this is Jugget82, and this is a quick video that, believe it or not, I just uploaded a video. The video I uploaded was asking questions about how to fix this little thing I got right here. This is an HDM, uh, HDMI video capture device. I just recently got off Amazon, and I got it because I saw a lot of reviews of it. And like I said, I'm a cheap guy. I don't have enough to get this and that. But I wanted to get something where I can record gameplay for my PS3. Uh, I was able to get the stuff to do what it needed to do. It's, it's, it's a plug and play. So as soon as you plug it in, you can get it to go. Uh, but I had issues at first getting the sound to go. But then I realized that in order to get that sound to go, you have to just do one simple thing. And that is when you create your thing, which I'm going to show you guys, this and that. But what I was having issues with basically was the PS3 games that I was trying I was trying to play would not the sound the game play the video was good perfect uh, the sound was statically and good and I'm gonna hopefully be able to show you guys what exactly I mean in the video so I'm gonna get ready to just go to what I need to go to so blah 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 blah, blah. So guys, this right here is my display, my PS3 uh, display, if you will. Uh, we got the little fight I playing. And uh, let's see if I bring the volume up for you guys. So, as you can hear, sound epic. That is in that man, you can hear it. You hear that sound? Let's bring that volume down. Now, this is basically what I was able to do um, as it relates to what I was able to obtain. One second, guys. Let's see right here. So, basically, when it came to putting audio, which is very, very easy to do, once you plug your capture device with your HDMI in, only thing you're doing is you're going to add, uh, basically, it's going to state uh, video, uh, what, no, it's going to actually be right here, guys. It's going to say video capture device. Once you click this, you're going to type in the name of it. Mine is, is already at existing. It's already on here, so I don't have to do that. So, right, once again, like I said, you have to do that. That's the first thing. When you right click this right here on the video device you have, you go to properties. And this is to get the sound. Only thing you have to do is click where it says audio output mode. You want to check use custom audio device. So, it's going to basically use your PS3's device for sound. If you don't, if you have this, this is not going to be checked and it's going to look like this. It's going to just have it just like that. So this has to be checked. Once you check it, you'll have this little option right here to pick the device. The device you want to pick is digital, digital audio interface. You will not want to pick the micro, mic, microphone array or all this stuff right here. You, and if, or if you have a plug-in headset or a wireless headset, just click digital audio interface. Now, click OK on that. But... Once again, this is what I'm going to throw at you guys. When I did that, the sound was ready. The sound was working on the, on the PS3. I can hear it on the computer. But when I played a PS3 game, such as the one I'm playing now, the sound was distorted. And I'm going to, get, I'm going to show you guys how it sounded distorted. I have a video, and 
warning, your ears are going to be bleeding. But I want you to see what happened when I tried to put a gameplay up. I had some Call of Duty playing, and this is what it sounded like. not good so this is how I did the little situation basically I went to my gaming hold on one second guys okay on that switch up so while I was up in here I went to the gaming and uh, I'm going to show you guys and this is for anybody that wants to know how to correct this issue and uh, like I said, that said, I was on the internet for a couple of hours yesterday trying to figure out how to make this motherfucker do what he needs to do. But I finally was able to figure it out. And like I said, this is right after I uploaded that video today. As this video is going to be uploaded. Because I think it's important to just show other people how to fix it. So what you want to do is you want to go to options. Your options are your settings. And you want to go to sound settings. Because see, the thing about it. With my clever ass is the fact I thought that if I uh, plugged it up, it'll automatically do all the shit you need to do. You're going to still set your options for to hear this music, hear the sound. And it will play sound. And it did play sound for Mortal Kombat. I have, I have Mortal Kombat at the arcade collection. It played that. But when it came to any PS3 games, it didn't. So what I had to do was go scrape the sound settings. I went to sound settings at first to go to this right here. And this is basically uh, when I went to this right here, I was going to go to manual to change my uh, HDMI settings and whatnot. I'm going to cancel that, but I went to manual, I went to HDMI, I went to manual. And I was going to check all this shit because I was thinking, okay, this is what I need to do. So uh, instead of that, this is what happened. I went back on there and I said, let me just go to HDMI again, but I'm going to do automatic. So what it has to do is basically, to make a long story short, because I know this video is going long as it is, you have to basically go here, hit automatic, because the HDMI is hooked directly into the video capture device, and it's hooked directly to the computer, you hold the automatic, and it automatically detects the option or what you need for it to do what it needs to do. When this, when this, piece, when this PS3 is hooked to my computer, uh, for instance, Dolby uh, Digital 5.0, one channel will be the one selected because it has different channels for the audio so for this situation it's got the winner uh, part that's going to be detected by the PC so that is how I got my PS3 games to do what they needed to do and no more of that freaking knowledge stuff but yeah this is Jugget82 signing off uh, yeah I just wanted to do the video again because I want to make sure I had everything right to let you guys know what you need to do but yeah you guys have a good one